Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag. Hello there, boys and girls. My name is Skippy, the sloth. Little Timmy asked for me to share the news about Read Across America. On Friday, March 1st, Students from Lejeune High School will be here all day. They have prepared many different activities 
to celebrate read across America Day. Like a puppet reader's theater, reading stories, reading in careers, and reading experiences. So that will be a fun day all about reading. Your teachers will have the schedule for the day. Gwendolyn Elizabeth Brooks was born June 7, 1917. She published her first book, wait, sorry. In Topeka, Kansas, to a janitor and a teacher who was, who was also trained in classical music. She was raised in the south side of Chicago with her brother Raymond Brooks. Mrs. Brooks began writing at an early age, filling books with careful rhymes and turning in poems to many publishers her first poem, Eventide, was published in the American Childhood magazine when she was only thirteen. By the age, by the age of sixteen, she wrote and published almost seventy-five poems. When she finished high school, she was a regular giver to a black weekly newspaper in the Chicago Defender. She went to a to a two year college while working as a typist to earn money for a writing career. Mrs. Brooks married in 1939 and had two children. She continued her passion for writing by becoming a teacher at the University of Chicago, where she taught a course in American literature. At. She taught around. She taught around the country. At many colleges, she published her first book. At. Poetry at Street, Bron Street in Bronzeville, in nineteen forty-five. It included. Street. 
Oh, 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 oh.